Hi everyone, this is block number 11. It's inspired by Jenny Doan from Missouri Star Quilt and it's called Dream Weaver. If you'd like to participate in our block of the month challenge, check the description under this video. You'll find a link to my Facebook group and all the information there. So let's get sewing. The design space file that I've shared is already set up to cut, but if you're cutting your fabric by hand, you're going to need four squares, three and a half inch from white or very light fabric. You'll need four more cuts, four colors, one of each three and a half by six and a half. And again, those same four colors, one of each three and a half by three and a half. The first thing we're going to do is lay out our block. So if you're not sure, once you get started, you can refer to this video, or I'll also attach an image um, in with the file so that you can see exactly how to lay it out, if that will be helpful. So we'll just move this fabric aside. The first thing you want to do is lay out your four corners and that's going to be your lightest fabric whether you choose white or a very light color those will be your four corners you want them to contrast from the rest of the block so in this case i'm using a plain white then we're going to take a three and a half by six and a half and a different color another one of your fabrics, three and a half by three and a half. That's our first corner. Then on this one, we're going to take another fabric, three and a half by three and a half. And this fabric, we're going to use the six and a half, three and a half by six and a half. So that's your second corner. On your third corner, a three and a half by six and a half. And whatever this fabric is that you used, a three and a half by three and a half. Your third corner. And for your fourth corner, you're going to match this fabric, three and a half by six and a half. And you're going to match this fabric with a three and a half by three and a half. So that's how you get your weave. This fabric is yellow dots. It doesn't show up very much on camera, but when you see it in person, there's a good contrast from the plain white. So this is how you're going to lay out your fabric. I'm gonna overlap it a little just so you can see the pattern. There we go. This is how your fabric is going to lay out so you can see the weave that you're going to have when you sew it together. So we're going to treat these four corners separately. And the first thing that you want to do is sew all your three and a half squares together. So we'll start with this one. I'll lay this piece on top. And I'm going to put a pin in it on the side that I want to sew my quarter inch seams. This is super important. You don't want to be sewing. If you sew the wrong edge and you press it open and it's like this, you've lost your pattern. So you want to be sure that you're sewing on the right side, not on the wrong side. So a little pin in it will help you remember which edge to sew on. So on this one, I'm going to sew along the bottom edge. That will just remind me, and on this one, I'm sewing on this edge. Okay, so I'm going to get those four seams sewn. I'll leave that where it is so I line it up again properly. 
I'll get these four seams sewn. I'm going to press them open towards the darker side, the darker fabric. It's very important to set your seams and press them nice and flat so you get a nice finish on your block. I'll be back. And we're back and you can see that I've sewn quarter inch seams and press them towards my darker fabric. So lay, let's lay these back out again. This one goes here. We have our second one there. Our third. And our fourth. And now our weave is starting to come together. So we're, we continue to treat these as separate blocks. This six and a half inch goes on top. And once again, I'm going to put a pin in the side that I want to sew. You don't have to do this. This is quite a simple block, but when you're doing something more complicated, you want to make sure that you're sewing on the right edge so you don't mix up your pattern. So just taking a second to put a little pin in it will help you to sew it on the right side and not mix it up. And you don't have any seams to nest at this point. It's pretty simple because you're adding one solid six and a half inch piece to it. There's nothing to nest. And this is the side that I want to sew on here. Okay, so I'm going to get those four quarter inch seams done. Once again, I'm going to set my seam, press it open, and we'll continue on from there. And we're back with our four corners sewn together, quarter inch seams, and I always press towards the darker fabric. This was quite easy, you had no nesting to do. So we're going to lay them out again, exactly how they go. You want to be super careful at this point not to mix them up because you don't want to lose your pattern. That wouldn't be fun at all. So we're going to lay them out again exactly how they go. There we go. Isn't that great? You can see the weave pattern in the center of it with your four lightest corners. We're going to now sew our final seams. Flip these two over. Once again, because it's a good habit, I'm going to put a pin on the side that I want to sew. Be very careful that you don't mix your blocks up or sew the wrong side. You don't want to ruin the pattern and have to tear it out and do it again. So I'll get these two seams done, press them open, set my seam and press them open. And then we'll do the final seam to attach the top and bottom together. And we're back. We have our four corners sewn together. And now all we have left to do is that quarter inch seam right across the center. Square up your block and you're done. So you have one seam to nest. That seam right here in the middle. And you want to be very careful about nesting it. If you're pressing right, you'll have one seam going to the left and one to the right, and you want to butt them right up against each other so they're nice and flat. At this point, I always put a pin in to hold it while I get started sewing. That's the only seam you have to nest on this block. If you've been doing the blocks all along with us, you know that I stress over and over about nesting your seams. It's super important. So we're going to get that done and we'll be finished with our block. And here we are. We have our Dream Weaver block. I love this block. I think it's really pretty. So as mentioned in the group, um, I had mentioned that I was going to release November a bit early. December and the bo final bonus block will come in the next week or two also. I know that some of you will like to have your quilt finished to give it as a holiday gift. So that's why I'm releasing the blocks early. For those of you who aren't already participating in the block of the month challenge, check below this video. 
There's a link to my Facebook group where you can find all the information, all the links and PDFs that you might need. I hope that you're going to enjoy sewing block number 11. Thank you for watching.